Okay, welcome back. Tony's Board Life here, and we, I don't know why I didn't do this, we had just finished turn five out of a nine turn scenario. Uh, the Italians are looking a little in trouble because these two units that are currently disrupted have to get off the board. And then four of these guys have to get off the board as well. So this is really going to determine you know how things go in this room so we're gonna go ahead and get these shuffled and we're gonna see what happens okay let's go ahead and see what our first card is chaos right to start off let's see what the chaos uh leads to let's zoom out and see what's going on. so we have a nine on the chaos table which is uh man of action place a axis leader on one platoon oh i'm gonna have to go dig through that let's dig through it and figure out where we're gonna put them. okay so we have lieutenant courier Curie. and so we're gonna actually put him onto this leader this platoon right here so that way it will hopefully give them a little bit easier chance of um restore or becoming undisrupted so we'll have to see how that goes okay off to the next card next card is the blending okay so that's gonna be this one so let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna do with it okay so i've decided to go after the headquarters here so three dice um fours or hires hits so let's go ahead and go for it and we got one hit. And with that one hit, we're gonna see if we can save it. And we do save it, so that one's all set. Now I need to roll to see if it continues on. And it does. So we are all set to go. So that was an effective air, close air support. All right. Now, moving on to the next card. Let's pull the next card and see who gets activated next. It is the seventh armor. So let's go to the board and go from there. So we've got our seventh armor here. Let's go ahead and we'll start moving these units and seeing what we can get across because we have to get enough. So we can go one, two, and he is going to right there. So he gets to add uh so fives will hit so um there's a one dice let me check. hold on okay so it is reduced um so this unit right here ends up being a four two five so we get two dice and five hits and no hits at all so that one is ops complete here so this is one two and three and now he will this matilda is one two he has a range of four so this will also be two to fives but there is a leader there so he's going to add a modifier to that so um the entire all the attack rolls this is going to add one to the all the attack rolls so really in this case it's two dice and five hits because of the leader and we get one five so that's one hit now the m1340 gets two dice to try to save he needs a six and he got a six so that one is now no problem so but that one is now ops complete as well so he's moved to three so one two three uh okay let's see here this guy's gonna go one you can't see there two let's do this one two and then three he is adjacent here so that'll be uh range what does a orchard is it orchard yes 
He gets a defensive bonus of one. So he's going to get uh, uh, one extra dice uh, for the obstacles. So, uh, yep. Okay, so he gets two uh, twos and hits on fives, and gets ones and fours. So that is not a problem. And he becomes ops complete. Oh, he can't even move in there. Because he only has a move in a three and it takes two to get in there. Well, that just sucks. One, two. I mean, he could go in here and see what he could do. Okay. Let me look at something. Okay, so it's plus one to move into that hex. So he can't even do that. He's going to move there. One, two, three. That's blocking. So he's fine there. Uh, by the way, they were all in. So one, two, three. Well, th when this guy moved in here, this guy could have fired. So we're going to go ahead and do that opportunity. And that's a 4-2-6. So he gets two dices, which hit, hits off sixes. No sixes, so he's fine. So that one will be ops complete. Okay. One, two, three. And the HQ is going to move with them. And then we got one, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay. So all of these guys are ops complete as well. Okay, uh, that's that. Let's move on to the next card. Next card, next activation will be de um, designated formation. Uh, this will be the two pounders. Uh, let's go to the map and see them. And since they are all in command, that means we can, we don't have to check for command, and we can do some firing. So these ops complete Katir here. Okay, so I don't have any ones, but what he's going to do, he's definitely going to fire at the, we'll just say the bottom unit, just to make it easy. So he gets a 426, but it'll be a 425 because of close range. So does not get any hits on that one. So we are good to go there. He is also, can he actually, because is Orchards, is it blocking? No, it's degrading. Okay. So that won't be a problem, so he can also fire, but that would be a 426. He does get one hit. Now the Italians can save it. If they get a six, they got two fives. So he does not save it. So this one is disrupted. And then this one is ops complete. Now we're going to go here. One, two, three, four. Again, four, two, six. No sixes. So it is also ops complete. And then 426 is going to fire on this one right here. It is three, and there's only one unit here that's already disrupted, though. Ooh, gets a six. But can save with a five. Oh, he gets a five, so he is saved. Okay, awesome. That was some pretty good battling here, so he is safe here. And then this guy is ops complete as well. Okay, back to the cards, and let's figure out the next formation activation. Our next formation that's activating is uh, first intern. Second one is the seven desert rats. Okay, let's go to the map. We have some uh, possibilities here that we'll need to take care of. Okay, so we need to remove markers, so those ops completes get moved. So he has a range of five, one, two, three, four, five. He's fine. He will have to roll for um, out of uh, out of command. 
If he rolls a seven or less, he's good. And he rolled a four, so he's good. And then we have to roll for this other Miltilda right here. Four, so he's good as well. So they are in command. Um, we don't have any rallies to do. And it's time to fire, or possibly fire here. Let's. So this guy right here is going to fire into here and specifically for this one that's already disrupted. He gets 426, it'll be a 425. So five or less hits, he gets one hit there. This disrupted unit can save on a six for the Germans. No sixes, so he does not save, so he is flipped. And is still disrupted, so he'll flip. And he is disrupted. Man, this guy is now ops complete. This guy here, 426, 1, 2, 3, 4, will also fire, but he is still 426. So hits, his, hits on sixes, and there is no hit. So that's going to be an ops complete for that guy. One, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and do an extended range, which means it'll be one die, and if he hits, it'll be, if it's a six, nope, it's a one. So, no mess on that one. So, ops complete also on that Matilda. Okay, let's take a look at the Crusaders we have down here. They do have a range of five, so we have one, two, five. So, let's start with this first one here. So, he gets three dice, hits on fives. One, two, three, hits on fives. And he did get one hit. So this five is a hit. He can save it, or attempt to save it. If he rolls a five or greater, and he rolls a three, so that hit does hit. And he will flip. He is still disrupted. And I have to roll for the HQ. There he is. The HQ is fine. Oops, I rolled the wrong. Oh, the HQ is fine. Okay, so that's this one. So he is ops complete. Now, this other one here, this other unit here, is also going to fire. If he gets a successful hit, the game will be over because I cannot get two of these units off. So here we go. So he gets three dice, hits on five to there, and he gets no hits at all so he is null and void I think one two three four five six seven okay yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna do extended range shots no we're gonna leave them for out fire so when these guys come around if they come around we're gonna leave them for out fire so they are just gonna they're just gonna stay here and be happy little clams. Okay, let's go ahead and see who next. who's next. Our next one is, the, oh, the other end turned. So, in this case, this guy did not get activated. So, this one end turn's going to stay out here. And then we're going to do end turns. But here's what we're going to do. So this will be turn six. Man, I forgot to use the fate points again. Dang it. Um, let me go ahead and let's zoom out here and then take a look at the map here. So the best we can do, so we're on turn six, so we still have one, two, three, four turns. So at a movement rate of four, one, two, three, four. So that's one turn, two, three, four. There's two turns, one, two, three, four. Okay, so tech, we could still possibly get it if he actually... Um, does uh, recover uh, but this one one two three four one two three four three four one two um, and I've got four turns left right now so yes this still could go through so there's still a potential possibility um, that we could get these guys off also we have all these guys here so let me go ahead I'm going to go ahead and pull off all the uh, ops complete markers 
um, and prepare for the next turn. So this is how the end of the turn looks. Um, we have our um, third here. We have one unit here, one unit here. Uh, they do have a possibility of getting to the side. Uh, at least um, we'll see what happens next turn. They do need to rally to start off with because they are both disrupted. Uh, currently, this one does have a leader, which is nice um, to go through. And this one's got an HQ, so it will add two to the die roll. So we'll see. Hopefully these guys can actually get up. Uh, the morale's a five. Uh, this morale would be a six. Um, so we'll see what happens. If they do happen to fail um this this one then yeah the game will be over at that point but uh it's still technically mathematically not eliminated so let's see what happens uh on the next turn with that I'll talk to you guys later and i will see you on the next turn have a great day